Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group and I came across something interesting in a box that I recently opened in regards to how 911 works with voice over IP and how it would or should or could work when you attempt to dial 911 from an IP phone on a voice over IP system that's in the internet. I'm going to show you guys something that was in a box with an IP phone that I found and then we're going to talk a little bit about what it means, what its implications are, and just some things that you need to understand and keep up to date in regards to making phone calls through a voice over IP phone system over the internet to 911 when you or somebody else that's around you needs help. Okay, so I found this informational sheet earlier this week inside of the box of a cordless IP phone from Nextiva that I opened up. Um, the first thing that caught my eye and set off the red flags and warning bells was this caution, 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 caution when I saw this. Now, before I get into this and I read what's on this sheet, I want to be very clear when I say that none of the advice or suggestions that I am about to give you guys in regards to how to use 911 or dialing 911 over a voice over IP phone system, whether it be from Nextiva or from any other carrier, are, are the opinions or are the suggestions of Nextiva. What I'm about to tell you is basically my opinion based on what I have seen and heard in the industry about how E911 works and how the service providers collaboratively may suggest that you set up and update your information so that 911 works the way that you intend for it to work when you dial it from a voice over IP system. So first and foremost, let's read what's on here really quick, okay? Because your new phone system is connected through the internet, the Federal Commissions, the Federal Communications Commission, FCC, requires us to alert you that under certain circumstances when 911 is dialed, your service may be limited by comparison to, tra to traditional 911 service. To alert others of the potential limitation, please place the attached stickers on or near each phone in your location. To verify or change your E911 address, visit blah, 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 blah at Nextiva for instructions. Nextiva is not responsible for your E911 setup. Your E911 address must be updated for each physical location where your Nextiva phone service is, is provided. Now, if you look further here, it says caution. These are little stickers that I guess they recommend that you put on each phone. Caution. E911 service may be limited or not available on this phone. What this means is this. Will E911 work set up correctly on an IP phone, assuming your information is correctly updated at the time that you dial it and updated consistently if you make any changes to your address? Yes. I'll tell you guys a quick little story that happened earlier this week when I was telling a client of ours, um, not an Xtiva client, but it was just a client in general, that we were consulting on phone service, he asked me, how will the, the how will the phone system work if I try to dial 911? And my response to him was, it will work normally like 911 should work if, as Nextiva suggested, your E911 address is updated to your actual physical location. Now, let me explain. So, with everything that's going on with previous events from 2020, it's no secret that social distancing and the ability to work from home remotely is, you know, it's the new normal. So let's say, for example, that you work in your home office and one of your employees works in he or she's home office and vice and so on and so forth. Your address, obviously, that you are at is going to be different from one of your coworkers address if the two of you are working at your two separate home addresses, respectively. This means that the individual IP phone address and location for each individual extension, not the system as a whole, but for each extension, needs to be set to the precise exact address of where you are working from or where you reside. Because the way that the internet works when it connects your system to the E911 database or however that works, they will know where you are. So let's put it into context. I, at the time of this video, and this is actually a true story, and building a new house. When I move to my new house in the next two to three months, I need to update all of my IP phones here at this location, including my wife's IP phone, 
to the new address. That way, if I dial 911, they see that I'm at that address and they come to the new place. To put it into even better context, I had a client recently, this literally happened earlier this week, which is what compelled me to do this video, which is why I thought it was interestingly coincidental and uncanny that this fell out of the box of one of the next Tiva IP phones that I reviewed. He told me that he moved and then he tried to dial 911 from one of his IP phones and the people actually showed up at the office across the street because they moved their corporate office to another suite that was across the street with a new landlord in a new building. Um, for them, he said, luckily and thankfully, it wasn't a serious emergency. They just needed somebody to come check something out. Um, just to, just something that looked suspicious, but nobody was dying or bleeding out or anything like that. So he said he just casually walked across the street, said, hey, we're actually over here. And the fire department and the ambulance folks just went across the street and said, how can we help you? Um, obviously, if that was another situation where somebody was in dire need of help or medical assistance, I mean, it could have turned out differently. So, moral of the story. However it may be done with Nextiva or another carrier, I'm not going to give you guys a precise way of how you can update that information because it may be different with the different carriers. Nextiva, Vonage, you name it, whatever. But it is very important so that you have a consistent E911 experience that when you move to another place or when one of your you know employees or staff members decides, hey, I want to up and use my hosted internet IP phone from home, it's extremely important, important that you contact your service provider directly and say, hey, we've made this move or this change with this employee or this office or this many staff members. What do we need to do to get the addresses updated correctly for each extension so that in the case that they dial 911, it works. One more pointer before we wrap up this video. Keep in mind that when you update that information, it may take some time. I don't know what the exact length of that time is. It could be days, it could be a week, it could be a month or more, but it may take some time for the change and correctly updated address changes that you make to your service provider for that to be showing in whatever database 911 uses when you dial it. So for example, you could go and change that update, uh, update that address uh, like now, but it may take a week, it may take days, it may take months for that to update. So it's quite possible that you could dial 911 and then all of a sudden they still show up at the old address because the database hasn't updated. Be sure to ask your provider how long on average it usually takes for that you know, updated information to be visible by the folks that run and handle the calls and help requests for non for uh, 911. So anyways, that concludes this video, understanding how E911 works with voice over IP. Um, again, I don't proclaim to have all the answers to this, but I highly recommend that you contact your service provider. I'm actually glad that this fell out of the box because this is a very important, but also a very controversial and misunderstood subject. Um, a lot of clients that I work with, I don't think that they update this information when they move around, move offices, or send people to work from home remotely. And I think that this is something that should be enforced, as this um, recommends, within your company policy so that you know that if somebody dials E911 from an IP phone, they're going to get the help that they need. So anyways, if you found this video helpful, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel um, and hit that notification bell. We upload new videos every single week. Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business, phone, and internet service in the United States. I'll catch you guys again in the next video.